So in terms of why I'm not playing the Grand Chess Tour, you guys, here's what here's what I'll say uh, to be very very clear about. The reason I'm not playing turns on stock, but yeah, the reason I'm not playing in the Grand Chess Tour is very specific. Um, and 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 the main reason is because with the Grand Chess Tour, they asked the players to basically commit to playing in the Chess Tour in December, at the end of December of 2020, when nothing was very clear. They basically said we're doing the Grand Chess Tour in December of 2020. Um, and of course, nothing was very clear at that time. Whereas I knew for a fact that, well, yeah, I mean, I, I knew that the Magnus tournaments, the, the tour was happening for another season. They're online tournaments, so you know for sure that the events will will be happening regardless. And um, so I was basically, oh, and Maxine plays G4. But anyway, let me finish, finish the story. Um, what I was going to say is that um, to, to finish off the story... Um, so they were requiring, they were asking people to commit in December, whereas I knew the Magnus tour was going to happen for a fact since it's online. And it really was very unclear whether, whether it would even be possible to hold these events in person. I also additionally know that, um, for the people who have been big naysayers and saying things like, well, you know, he's, he's, he's doomsday and doesn't want over the board chess to happen. Um, it was very last minute that they were able to have this tournament happening. I believe the restrictions um, in Romania were lifted maybe like in the in the last week before the event. So it was not clear that this event was even going to happen within the last week um, is what I would say as well. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's the main thing I would say is primarily it's because they asked people way too early to commit to it uh, in December of last year when nothing was clear. And I knew for sure the online tournaments would happen. And um, and again, I, I, I've, I'm a very firm believer in online chess. I do think it is the future if you're trying to get big sponsors. Uh, so that's, that's what I would say. Um, now, additionally, someone asked me, why isn't chess.com a sponsor of this event? This event is uh, in conjunction with... Um, uh, being done in conjunction with uh, the St. Louis Chess Club and Vivendi International. Uh, of course, St. Louis Chess Club is in St. Louis and Vivendi is in, is in France. Um, why there are not many viewers, it's very, very early. It's an impromptu stream. I would, I almost never stream on, um, I almost never stream on Sunday either. So it's, it's not really that surprising in, um, in, in many ways. So that, that's what I would also add additionally. Um, so it's uh, it's just one of those things. Very very early on Sunday. The time will be twenty one hundred um, Indian Standard Time. That's that's what time it is. But yeah. So yeah. All right, you guys. Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, thank you to Potus Monkey for the six months. Thank you so much. The real the real fans are here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it is, um, it's 6.43. That being said, I will say, you guys, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to compete in the next Champions Tour event. It's going to be starting at 3 or 4 a.m. local time in the morning, and I'm not sure that I will, uh, I will, I will compete in that. Um, just, just, just so you guys are aware of that. Um, because I tried playing the, the last, um, the la last, uh, Champions Tour event that I played this start really early was at, uh, was at 6 a.m. local time and I qualified, but in the, in the knockout stage when I played Levon Aronian, I was not competitive at all. I got absolutely wrecked in that, um, in that match. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but, but that's what I would say. Like the little. Am I under contract? No, I'm not under contract to play every event. Um, you know, honestly, I would tell you guys something separate. Um, and this kind of the haters, the haters will actually like this a little bit. But, you know, one thing I would say is a, a lot of people have been very critical, not just of me, but of Timor and some of the other players um, with some of, some of the quick draws we've had. But, you know, honestly, to me, because there are no guarantees that I'll get invited to the next event, um, I actually treat every event like I have to finish top eight and qualify. So a lot of my draws are very, very strategic. Um, is what I would say. There's there are no guarantees. Ding is also yeah. I would say in terms of the chess champions tour, Ding has had some very bad results, and I think in his case, 100, you can say it's because he's having to play at like 5 a.m. his time. How do how do I give TSM anything? Um, well, I give them a lot of um, a, a lot of um, what's the word? I can't think of the word. A lot of a uh, fort. A lot of um, not vision. What is the word? A presence? No. What? No, exposure exposure yeah i can't i can't think exposure exposure and visibility are the two words i was one of the two um that i give them uh, obviously they are an esports i do think chess has a lot of potential to become an esport first of all um secondly i am i am you know like it or not i am a pretty prominent streamer these days so uh so that it just it really helps them get exposure 
Why isn't my nickname TSM FTX Ikaru? Uh, I do not fall under that that um that that umbrella. It I believe pertains specifically to their esports teams. Um, and I am not part of an esport team yet, so um, technically I don't fall under that under that part of their their agreement with um with FTX. I knew there would be a Meltwater Champions Tour event in January. Let's just I was just assuming that I, that I would qualify for, it, five for every, everyone. So okay, so this was my this was my assumption is that basically there were going to be uh, tournaments. You see, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. No, I'm just typing this thing because I don't have it. So okay, let's just delete these first five because they don't matter. What we're left with is let's say June, July, August, September. Now let's scroll down. And now you have Grand Chess Tour. I'll just put GCT to keep it short. Um, uh, Romania, GCT Paris, GCT um, Croatia. I don't, chat can tell me what the dates are, but let, let's just go here, June 5. So, so basically what you're left with here is as I look at this, remember, this was in this was in um this was in December that they asked people to commit. This is not something that was done in like February or March. This was done in um this was done in November and December. Actually, December to be clear. December, like December of 2020, they asked players to commit before vaccines were even publicly available. Um and so when I look at this and I, and, and I look at this, well, I knew the meltwater was gonna happen in June. July, August, September. I mean, October is kind of irrelevant for this example, so I'll just delete it. Um, but when you look at what's what's in here, um, actually, no, it's not. It's not. Um, uh, it's not. It's not irrelevant. And there, you guys, I did Control Z just to show you guys. I know some functions. Um, but basically, if I look at this, you have Romania, Paris, Croatia in June, all in a row here, all in Europe in December. They're asking people to commit to these events when there's no guarantee there's they're going to be rollout. There's going to be um, there will be a rollout of. Um, of uh of vaccines or it will even be safe to do it okay so there's no guarantee there so i'm left in the situation where june and july like okay i can either i can hope that i can hope that europe is open and i can kind of play these three events i mean or i can play the sure bet which is that the meltwater champions tour is going to happen because it's online um so and then as i and then as i keep looking you also see in august this is all of august is covered so probably i would i would basically have to choose do I believe that I can play these three events um, uh, or which are guaranteed to happen? Or do I gamble that these events are all going to happen in Europe um, and the U.S. when the vaccines were not publicly available in December of last year? Um, so you see, it's, it's very tricky there. And, um, and so I had to make a decision. And I think I made the right decision. I mean, they're very lucky, as I said, that Romania is happening. Because I know as much as like one or two weeks ago, they were not sure that, the, that people would be able to travel there. Um, and so I had to make a decision essentially between one or the other. And I knew for sure that the online, I knew for sure that these online events would happen, um, regardless. So that's why I actually, more than any other reason I picked the, um, I picked the champions tour events, uh, to play in them. Cause I knew for certain they would happen. Whereas there was no guarantee these events would happen. Meltwater also pairs better with streaming full time. Yeah, that's true too. But that, but I'm, I'm just explaining, you know, when people think about this, if they'd asked me in March or April, it would have been interesting. I still think I lean towards Meltwater if they asked me in March or April, but, um, but there's, but it would have been more likely, much more likely. But when they, when they play both, uh, no, it's, that's way too much. Um, no, I mean, there's no way. Cause I mean, trying to expect you to have two cams, have a stable internet, like, I mean, there's no no guarantee. I try. I've tried streaming even. Um, I tried streaming from Croatia in 2019 during the Grand Chess Tour, and it was very sketchy, very sketchy. Um, because you don't even have a wired connection. I mean, maybe you'll get lucky, but the Wi-Fi from the room, there's no guarantee that it's not going to randomly die. And um, and if that happens, you just lose the game. Plain and simple. So I think there are, there are a lot of um a lot of issues um with, with the notion that you can do that. But yeah, the stream was terrible. I had a lot of lag. Um. So, so yeah, I mean, if they'd asked in March or April, it would have been more interesting because the fact they tried, they asked players to commit like in December, um, when nothing was really clear at all was, was simply, simply too much. Um, I do intend to play this one. I was told that I'm getting a wild card for this event, um, August 9th to 16th. Um, but, but there, there's this event that I probably will play. This will be the one that I'm intending to play. So I'll, now what I'll do is I'll, I'll race, I'll, I'll get rid of everything, um, and explain what I am playing. So okay we, we already had the june no we, is this a june event or not i guess this the june event is the one coming up or no june june there, there are three events basically so so here here's the events that as of right now i'm probably gonna be playing this year okay so let me let me push this up um um so here's what we have so most likely i will i mean i don't know if i'm gonna play this one so this one's up in the air i'll put like asterisk just for you guys 
Um, it's supposed to be starting at 3 or 4 a.m. local time. Um, so here's what I probably will play. I'll probably play the Champions Tour in August. Again, in September. I think I, I will qualify for the Tour Final. This is um, in October. It is in person in San Fran. Okay, so that's that's in October at some point. Um, events over the board that I probably will play will be um, with the Grand Chess Tour, August 9th to 16th, the Fisher Random event in St. Louis, September 7th to 10th, and potentially a U.S. Championship if it happens um, in October. Again, who also knows, because as someone points out, there's also supposed to be Isle of Man in October uh, as well so um so we're, we're left with some some question marks here in terms of uh in, in terms of what's what's going on and potentially a world rapid and blitz so that that's what i would add here um and we'll see we'll see what happens but just thought i would show this to you guys um uh while while, while we're while we're uh, while we're looking at things